City Jill Biden was just in town promoting Pittsburgh as one of five workplace hubs around the country. KDK political editor John Delano explore what kinds of jobs are being promoted in a rare interview with two members of the president's cabinet. First Lady Jill Biden was not alone during her visit to Pittsburgh. She was joined by Acting Labor Secretary Julie Su and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. I had the chance to sit down with both of them together. 13 million jobs, hundreds of billions of dollars of private investment, spurred in part by the good public investments that we're making in transportation and other forms of infrastructure. Training people for these jobs, that's where the workplace hub concept comes in. A public-private partnership, says the Labor Secretary, to train local people for these skilled, good-paying jobs. The goal? Develop workforce training programs that are labor management built, right, so that unions are at the table from the beginning and trainings are demand-driven, meaning there are four specific jobs that are going to be created and that are really equitable so that communities who've been left out in the past are not left out now. Many of the Biden bills, from the American Rescue Plan and Infrastructure Bill to the Chips and Science Act, and Inflation Reduction Act target clean energy technology. I asked the secretaries about our reliance on natural gas to heat our homes, along with thousands of local jobs in the industry and at the cracker plant. How do you balance this, creating jobs and at the same time maintaining jobs that are important to a lot of folks in this region? Well, we don't think of it in terms of climate versus jobs when there's an opportunity for it to be about climate jobs. In other words, the very same skills that can make somebody good at uh, helping to assemble a, a car that runs on gas means they're going to be very qualified to help assemble electric vehicles. Buttigieg acknowledges that refineries are a long way from being replaced. I press Sue about the future. So, Madam Secretary, you're not trying to shut down jobs in the natural gas industry? I was going to build on that because uh, the president talks a lot about building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up. And it's important to understand who's at the bottom. Without directly answering, Sue says those most affected by climate issues are often the poor and marginalized. As for a way forward, Buttigieg says this region has the potential to lead the way. If we get it right, we will make sure that America and not a competitor like China, wins the race for that next generation of green jobs. And I think this part of the country is actually uniquely positioned in terms of the skills, the tradition, and frankly, the culture and the work ethic right. to lead the way forward. John Delano, KDKA TV News.